guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do a panda palette update and kind of, I don't know how I'm going to explain it, but I'm kind of ending the panda palette on this palette and then I'm going to do two weeks one palette instead. My panda palette series is going to be combined with the single ladies and my man Matt project pan collab that I'm doing. That palette that I'm trying to use up is my Morphe 35OM palette. So the Panda palette challenge is going to be on the Morphe palette. So you won't see Panda palette updates on this bright palette anymore. And I will tell you why. Last year I panned the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette and it was very neutral and in the last half of the year I was very bored so I pulled in this palette to give it more color and combining neutrals and color which I really really loved and then I was just like let's just go all in with color, color and just have fun. It has been so much fun and my love for color has definitely changed. I'm so obsessed with colorful looks and I have learned a lot about this palette and I have learned a lot about me and I think it is going to it's beginning to be the right time for me where I'm going to explore and learn more about my collection overall because I have a lot of palettes and I don't think it's going to end here about the amount so I really want to get some use out of them and learn and play and yeah that is basically why I want to do the two weeks one palette. Even last year, in 2017, when I was trying to decide what palette I want to pan in 2018, I was even then debating on doing one month one palette, two weeks one palette, whatever. So even then I was ready to play around with my makeup, but I was just a little bit scared and I had just done panda palette for so many years that I didn't want to give it up. But yeah, I again, it's nothing against this palette. This is a beautiful palette. It's pigmented if you haven't set your base. And yeah, let me just show you. I have hit another pan in the palette. It is the light green shade that I, I might have talked about that I wanted to focus on. So I have mainly used it on my lower lash line a few times on my lid. So that's why I, the dip is like that. Last time I only had pen on the pink shade. So the picture is not really that exciting. So another thing that has changed uh, the past few weeks is that I have gotten an internship at a clothing company called Decor Company and they have a lot of brands and then I am hired for e-commerce uh, for two brands which is really really exciting and I love it and I'm there three times a week and so maybe I should just tell this in a good word with me but I think it's relevant for this because the last two weeks I have not really explored this palette uh, as much as I maybe should have. So I'm... I feel bad to say the least. I really do. I had uh, the light green shade in my inner corner at oh, one time and then a uh, purple and stuff. So that's fine but I'm the only one, only one in my department that is wearing color and I'm not comfortable yet. Not yet. I could rock the purple and the green and no one said anything, but I don't want to at the same time. It's, it's a weird thing and I want to play around. So I think two weeks one palette is going to be nice for me. I have found this app with a spinning wheel and I have put in all my palettes and then I have one section that says single shadows. So hopefully I'm going to get a good one for the first two weeks. But I'm going to spin the wheel and then I will have a palette and I'm going to play around and use it for two weeks. Mainly in the weekends because I am going to have focus on the Morphe palette and the singles in that project as my panda palette from now on. So this, when I upload this, is going to be two weeks one palette. So, let's spin the wheel. So 
So it is the W7 Naughty 9 Midsummer Nights. It's one of my favorite palettes from W7, so I'm actually quite excited. And I can work, I can wear that on the weekdays if I want to. And that is also a goal. I can just wear it whenever I want. I just have to focus on this in the weekdays. So let me get the palette and then I will be right back. So this is the palette if you haven't seen it before. I have made a whole video where I show you my W7 palettes and I tell you how I like them. So this is the W799 Midsummer Nights. It is a dupe for a MAC palette, but this is a beautiful palette and I really, really love it. It has some burgundy, mauve tones in it and a gold and a brown. So. This is going to be perfect for every day and I think I can do some very nice looks in the weekends and I'm really really excited about it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please give it a like. I hope you look forward to this series because I'm really really excited to be using a palette for two weeks and doing the panel palette on another palette. It will just clear out so much of the weight on my shoulders of panning and I really want to have fun at the same time and this is the option I think is perfect for me so I'm going to try it out and uh, cross my fingers it is going to work look forward to Sunday when the update for the new panda palette is going up for the Mad, Mad, my man Matt and single ladies and I hope you will subscribe so you don't miss out on any videos and until my next video please take care bye